Hello everybody, Fake Rooster here and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. Last time last we played, time. we kickstarted the revolution this in as peaceful a way as possible in the hopes that it would be easier to get a message across. We're going to see how that actually uh, pans out today uh, as we jump in. It's been a little bit since I played. Not quite as long a gap as last time, but um, kind of itching to do some story stuff today. We're going to jump in and see where we're at. So we're back with Connor and Hank. It looks like... And we're still trying to fix this relationship, which we uh, bungled in the early uh, episodes of this playthrough. <laughs> no, we're out. Last time... Did we get shot? Did I make that up? I think we got shot. Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Because we were trying to... Grab. Oh, Precious we. That's right. Last night. The it was android we linked with was killed, but we he felt him die. Uh oh. Was Chris okay? Things are starting to come together. Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. Like these stories are starting to really interlink. I think we're kind of in the final areas. I think there's four oh. or five chapters left. I should start to. Uh, I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. Line up. Start to we see how they're all connected. Here. Bad feeling, huh? You should get your program checked. Might be a glitch. I have a bad feeling about this. I feel like the way the snow stays on all the clothes and stuff. It looks really cool. Hello? I don't know if... Oh, there you go. Oh, it's the main menu girl. Hi. It's been saying some really um, weird shit to me every time I load this game. Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see. What decisions will uh, you make Mr. today? Kamsky. What she said Please, today. Please come in. I don't know what her model's called. Okay. Maybe I do, and I just don't remember. <laughs> Hello. This is nice. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. This immediately reminds me of uh, X Machina. Not X Machina. What I mean, Deus Ex, the um, not the game series, the film with uh, Oscar Isaac in it. That looks like uh, that's uncanny valley. That I hate that. Look at the way that that follows you around. That is awful. Nice girl. Uh, let's be analytical. An RT six hundred, the first cyber life android to pass the Turing test. That? Oh, there you go. I didn't ask for her technical specs. I just said she was nice. I'm just trying to give you info, Hank. You're hostile at me. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. I mean, the rich people, I'm sure, are uh, probably fine. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. Hmm. How's it feel? A bit weird. I don't know. Yeah. I'll tell you when I see him. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. Plot twist, you're all I have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Why is telling me to stand up? But I miss things if I don't. Right, what is the bumper? It's the button to. There it is. Let's right, so we'll look at this picture. See if this picture gives us anything. I feel like I do want to play this game again at some point because I'm just missing quite a lot of stuff. Amanda. I think I need to learn as much as possible before this meeting, though. I read that. Oh, uh, uh, the camera. Camera jank. What? There's more of them in a hot tub. We'll see you now. What? Is there anything else before I leave? No. Okay. Did you just have in a hot tub with all of his androids? Okay. You know, you, you do you, dude. Uh. Mr. Kamsky? Why is it red? Just a moment, please. Well, I hope play. Should I be looking at you? I'm worried that it's, he's going to pop out with something that will get me uh, in trouble on YouTube. <laughs> okay, he's wearing, he's wearing shorts. We're good, guys. We're good. Oh, this is cool. These big pillar things, whatever they are. A bird or something there. Like, is this... Blood? I hope not. I'd imagine it's probably some sort of rich person. Like, this is melted down gold or something. 
copper. I don't know. I'm trying to do these androids now. What's up? They're clearly saying stuff, but I can't hear anything. Are they... I'm trying to lip read. I'm not trying to be dumb. Are they secretly telling me stuff? Probably not. It's probably just if not being programmed to speak. No, no, I'm not getting anything from that. I'm not that good. God, he looks like a douche, doesn't he? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry if you're watching this and you somehow look like that, but... What can I do for you, Lieutenant? He's a rich Sir, man that read and stuff. Deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. I mean, he's, you know. Now they have free will. He's really giving bad Machines guy. are so superior to us. The confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Very poetic. Isn't it ironic? Something in the Deviant's program seems to emulate emotion. We thought you might know something about how that occurs. There's definitely something being programmed into them. Like, All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. It's definitely some at Fishy Is the going desire on. to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. We know. We've executed that as much. Either you can tell us Sorry. something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Uh-oh. Whose side are you on? Oh, no. I mean, I... Uh, when we neutral? I have no side. I was he has got a bit of deviance, but every so often that blue ring around his head does change color. Well, that's what you're programmed to say. I'm curious but if you. I try to keep him on the side of the humans, what happens? Especially if we're running Mark, is very anti-human. Like, I'm what curious. What do you really want? But we're kind of peacefully protesting. Oh God. Uh, what do I want? Oh, troubled. Oh no. What I want is not important. I don't know if software instability going up is a good thing or a bad thing. That makes sense. I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Here from Malady. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. It is alarming how what interests me quickly it feels like we're actually going to be there machines are capable in uh, of real life. It's a bit worrying. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. It's going to like chop our head off or something. Magnificent. Just always assume a bad guy is going to do something ridiculous. One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. Ugh. What is it really? A piece of plastic imitating a human? Or a living being? Like his weird model that is very confusing. That's a gun. Soul. What? I mean... It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. I like that Hank... I'm sorry, if I was Hank in real life, I would have drawn my gun immediately. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. What? Or spare it. If you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Oh my god. What do we do, guys? <laughs> okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Oh my god. Your investigation or the life uh, of this Do I do what I think Connor should do, or do I do. An obedient machine. I think Hank's had enough. Our loyalty is to Hank, currently. But who knows? With free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you. Is the game even gonna give me a choice here? I'm not gonna shoot. Oh, instability up might be a good thing. It might mean that I'm more stable. I ain't shooting this random being for no reason. To save humanity. Is itself a deviant? Uh oh. I'm. I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. 
That was tough. That was a tough call. You saw a living being in I don't know what to do there. I feel like if I shot her, you Hank shot would be upset. If I didn't shoot her, like, what would Connor have done? I don't know. Probably that. I mean, the game is definitely prying that on your coming. empathy, isn't we'll it? You have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? Yeah, he's going to be a tough one. What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? I'm really curious to see what Kara thinks to all this as well. She's not really been involved in the main bit of the revolution. She's just sort of found little way, bits here and there. I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Okay. All right, let's leave the rich psychopath alone for a bit. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes. Yeah. And I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry. Okay? It's so, like, interesting. The, like, dynamics and relationships in this Nobody game do the right thing. are phenomenal. They're so... <gasps> He's back to neutral! He's back! <laughs> I've never been more excited that someone is neutral towards me. Okay. Alright, let's see. 48. God, we missed loads. I mean, I suppose the whole point of the game is it's replayable so that you can make those other decisions. And that was quite a short chapter, so let's do another one. Um, I have a feeling that we're going to uh, catch up to Kara next. Or not? Never mind. I wonder when Kara's going to come back into it. So we're back with Marcus after our kind of peaceful protest which news outlets were not exactly uh god i forgot it was the game do you know sometimes this game has such beautiful transitions look at this snow i just totally forget that it's not a cutscene right let's have a look, read of the paper what horrific things are they saying oh riot global population reaches 10 billion i mean that's only what two billion more than where we are now i think we just did we not just hit eight billion have i made that up there's someone will tell me that I've made that up. If I have. BRMORPG, 1 billion view users. I mean, sure. Let's put that back then. Okay, can walk to the edge. Is there anything else in this room? Yep. Looks like a post has been thrown down. Is that a mirror? Oh, it's a mirror. We need to look inside our souls, decide who we are. <laughs> How did he even get up here? <laughs> no, there's nothing else here. I think this is the roof. Is this the roof of the Jericho base? No. That was on a ship, wasn't it? Now we're going to stand dramatically on the edge of this pillar for some reason. Oh, that's the thumbnail right there. <laughs> it's 100% the thumbnail. Reminds me of that picture of the New York uh, beam when the skyscrapers are being constructed. I was wondering where you were. North. I can't remember if North really likes me right now or not. I wanted to be alone. I just needed to be alone. I'm assuming. I like it here. I love I the snow. That's so cool. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people, and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changed. Feels like every time we touch anyone, they come to Jericho. So I don't know. You seem preoccupied. I'm not sure these androids are making choices anymore. Oh. They all obey me. They I have an unlocked question. question. I'm definitely going to press it. And that I haven't unlocked much of that. Feels good and scary. At the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. It was very peaceful. Nobody the died. Are I don't think. They're yeah. afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. Hmm. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. I mean, not with that attitude. Let's be optimistic. No, not all humans are the same. 
Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? For the heretic of an elderly gentleman, right? Let's be sincere. I was living in a bubble in this world that belonged only to me. When you're happy, it's difficult to see other well, people. Well, she likes us now, anyway. What about you? Okay. You never told me about Good. your I wasn't sure what she was going to be like, don't talk to me. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> yes, she was. Other no. Oh, yeah, that's right. That android you were looking at in the store. It was you. She reminded you so of... So weird, Lord, like... She? We all have something we want to forget. But you need to know where you come from to know who you are. Also, like, all the clothing that they wear, it's... I was nothing. Um... A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Like, it could be whatever they want, I suppose. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. Oh, boy. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. Jesus Christ. Not a very peaceful there, future, this, is it? Everything. No, you should have. I'm glad you did. Thank you. See, we need to build these sort of relationships with the revolution. <gasps> Are we making android romance happen right now? My controller is vibrating furiously. <laughs> I can feel it. Oh. Oh. Maybe he does have some sort of... I saw your memories. <gasps> oh my I god! <laughs> We did it, guys! <laughs> I saw your memories too. The Eden I didn't even think about like romance Death things being an option. Man, I felt like I was there with of course you. they are. North. Ah. Okay. Bit of character building there for us. I, is this me? Why am I dressed like this? <laughs> this is suicide. It's a little, little turtle. Please, Marcus, it's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. Are we blowing it up? We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus? Oh, I don't like that. Oh, look, look how nice your relationship is with this person. And now they're telling you They'll not understand. to do something. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. Or it's a dream. Rally your people, convert more androids. Okay. Cleaners? There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. Is that an android? Yeah, I'm assuming so. Because all the other ones have been so far. You're free. I'm free now. See, this is what I mean. Like, I don't. Are you infecting them with some sort of virus? Is that what's happening here? Oh, there's a man over there. Oh, I like his straps. Random straps for no reason. We, we do love a random strap. There we go. You're free. You're free too. See, this is what I don't get. Like, are they actually making that choice? Is he doing something to them? Is there something in the loading? I need to find more people. Or oh, we're going to have a little march, it looks like. I don't know if we can go into any of these stores, can we? No androids allowed, so no. Uh, it's normal, that's a human security guard. I don't think there's anybody else in here. Uh, I would like to get our numbers up. There's a android over there. Fair, and there's two more over there, so we're just going to keep our eye out. Let's just get as many numbers as we can. Whatever's about to happen. Where do you think you're going? You get back here. Oh. I need to block the street. You stand right here, you fucking machine. Shit, what's wrong with you? You do as I say, you piece of junk. Here we go. Right, we're starting to get numbers now. That's good. Oh, 
Oh no, I didn't press the button fast enough. Damn it. Uh, any more androids? You're one of mine already. Um, anyone else that I can grab? Uh, I don't see anyone on this side. I wish I could go on. Oh, I can't cross the street. I was going to try and get towards that bus. Oh, there's an android there and an android there, so there's two more. You are free. Be free! Oh, man, I like that they're just calmly putting uh, shopping down and stuff. You don't have to obey them. Look at this guy's hair. He's got sick hair. You're free. Free! Any more that we can add to our cause here? I don't think so. I think we go for it. I think we're good. I want to check this side just in case. Oh, it's not letting me go that way. Okay. Alright. I assume that's as many as we can grab then. Is there one there? Oh, there's some there. I can walk past it, can I? No. Okay. Wasn't sure where the limits were. I'm just so paranoid because I've missed so much stuff in my playthrough. I wonder if I'm going to get a good ending or a bad ending. Bad time to take a drink of water. Alright, down we go into the sewers. Like a little sewer. Oh, no, we're bringing people up from Jericho. That makes more sense. And then we're going to march, and then I can convert those builders. There we go. It's all coming together. I don't know if we've, lo if we've lost one person from Jericho so far. Haven't we? I think that was the... Uh... that a Kara model? Yes. You're free now. Alright, now we can just use the force. What is going on? Like, <laughs> oh, the dramatic music's playing. Come on, androids. Man, he, should, he can just gesture to them now. Any more androids? One there. Oh, in the windows? Yeah, break out the windows, brother. Let's go. Anyone else? Each into oh my god, they're actually all there. That's really cool. I thought this is just gonna be like place holders, like you know, like randomly 10 androids, but it's actually, I think it might actually be the accurate number. I'm not gonna count them. You can if you like. Wow, he's like, he can just summon people to him now. Okay. They may shoot at us. That is the feeling that I get. I feel like we're going to lose some. Jericho's up. Nice. Jericho loves this movement. There's more over there. Can I actually walk over there? I can kind of walk in that general direction. You! Join me! Greg, sorry, Greg's just a really funny name for an android. I don't know why. Your <laughs> Gregory, have I missed anyone? I don't think so. I'm trying to. This is probably a bit motion sticky for you guys on YouTube with its compression and stuff. But I'm gonna make sure I get his. Whoa! What the hell are you doing? Hack. Yes. Oh, nice. Hey. Well, I like the symbols. Disperse. I can't remember if that was the symbol I picked or not, but Disperse it's cool nonetheless. Uh, no? That's an order. How does no sound? Does no sound good? There's a lot more of us than there is of you, my friend. But you probably have a lot more bullets than me, because we don't have any. <laughs> we raise hands, I think we advance. Maybe we should have raised our hands. I'm a bit worried about my decisions now. Jesus fucking hey. Christ! Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just just leave, dude. Just yeah. This bet's just get out of the way. Oh, I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know. Hundreds. Uh equal rights. Thousands. Equal rights. They're marching. Right. Yeah, they're marching down the street. Equal rights. Fuck if I know. Okay, got it. Freedom! 
Oh, this is, this is quite powering. I know I'm not a robot, but I feel quite powered. Go. Oh, I'm being slated. indiscriminately. Hands? A piece of baddies? It's got that kind of vibe to it. Yes. <laughs> we came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. Oh, you're fun. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. Yeah, they heard you. If you do not disperse immediately, <laughs> we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. Oh, we don't make me a attack. choice. There's more of us. We can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. They're just going to just stand mm. their ground, even if it's I think dying. if we don't do anything, they're going to start indiscriminately just shooting at people. This is your last chance. What do we this do? Works immediately, or you will all be killed. What if we stand our ground? We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Mistakes. Public opinion's gone up, though. But mistakes. This is your last chance. We have to make a statement. We have to stay put, no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without uh, fighting back. This is so hard because she's now like all in with us. We're not moving. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Sorry, sorry North. Uh, I'm glad it doesn't have a counter anywhere. If I had a counter, Marcus, I'd be. What are you doing? They're gonna kill us all. Oh my god. Duh. I, I panicked. I panicked. I thought maybe if this happened. Oh my god. I don't know if that was the right choice. I mean, public opinion is now heavily in our favor. But Marcus is now. Oh my god, it's kicking off. John? Why did he just say my name? <laughs> That's weird. I don't like it. That's my real name. That's weird. They're coming. I'm sure that has nothing to do with this, but there we go. Because he's called John as well. But... All right. Wow, that was intense. I I don't know if I made the right choice. I mean, I never know if I made the right choice. Every single level that I've done on this series has been doubt. <laughs> Well, there we are, guys. So, uh, I'd say, uh, I mean, I sacrificed myself, apparently. Um, I'd say the revolution as well and truly kicked off now. We did a bit of catching up with Connor. You can see his conflict. I hope you enjoyed, uh, enjoyed? Hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I'll be back with more in the future. Give me a like if you have enjoyed. Comment below what you thought of my decisions. Were they good? Were they bad? I don't know. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.